taps and dies and uh, how to use them and what they're for. Um, so what they're for, uh, they're a tool to cut internal and external threads. So the die here will cut an external thread and the tap will cut an internal thread. So say we were trying to create this uh, nut and bolt, we would use the uh, die to cut the external thread of the uh, bolt and we'd use the uh, tap to cut the internal thread of the uh, nut. So the way we use them is uh, the dies go in these uh, die stocks and they're held in there firmly with set screws. Right, so in every um, tap size you'll get three different taps uh, generally if you buy them in a set and the first one you'll get is what's called a taper tap and this will have four, three, four, five tapered threads on it which will allow it uh, to easily start in the material that you're working on. You generally use this in um, harder material where it's hard to start. Then you have your um, second tap which is also called a plug tap. And that will have uh, two three tapered threads on it. And uh, this will also start a, um, a tapped hole as well. But you won't be able to get right to the bottom of a hole with this if you've got a hole drilled and you want to thread right to the bottom, you need to use what's called a um, bottoming tap and this will usually have like uh, one to two tapered threads on it and this will allow you to reach right to the bottom of a blind hole. But you won't be able to start a tapped hole with this. It'll be pretty hard as it's got hardly no taper whatsoever. So the next thing is uh, the thing that you're going to hold it in, a little tap wrench. Uh, these cheap ones, uh, they're not usually, well they're okay, this one's not been too bad. They usually snap because they're made out of cheap cast material. They usually snap around here or somewhere, this one's been okay at the moment. But uh, what I normally do to them is, because these handles are usually loose, I'll super glue them in and that will stop them falling out and then also drill a hole through here on the uh, arm that you tighten because then that will allow and you've got a tap in there tighten it up by hand and then use a small bar and go in there and tighten it up so it won't come loose when you're tapping the hole. But these cheap ones, uh, so far I've found, they don't generally have a hole in them. The more expensive ones do, like this one here, which is a bit more expensive. This one's got a hole already in there, and this bar will come with this one. Right, so the first thing to do, if you can, is just to put a um, bevel on the edge of the workpiece because that will make it easier to start the thread so I'm going to do that on the grinder Right, so the way you cut an external thread is you select the uh, appropriate stock that you're going to use this is a um, 6mm uh, rod it's an uh, old piece what I have hanging around um, and this is a 6mm die and one thing you always want to do is, is uh, lubricate and this is some stuff that I made up myself which uh, if you go on my website you'll be able to find how I made it this is uh, like a um, cut and paste but a lot cheaper than the uh, shop bought stuff uh, you can lubricate it with anything, but um, something like a greasy 
tight waxy stuff is better because it stays on, it doesn't all dribble off. You can get um, commercial for uh, cutting fluids. Right. This here, this is a um, maxi cut. Uh, it does a good, it does a um, real good job. But, uh, this is uh, more expensive than making this yourself, so. And I like like this better. It's, it, the threads come out better. Um, yeah, if you um don't use a lubricant, uh, you'll probably get tear out in the uh, material. Uh, so you won't get very good quality threads and uh, also prolongs the life of the tool as well um, so right let's start so on a die you've got two sides you've got a tapered side and a non-tapered side you need to select the side which has got the uh, larger opening which is the tapered side and that allows you to um, be able to start the thread easily so you need to um, keep the tool square to the work when you do this because if not you'll get a crooked um, thread and it won't come out very good so you need to get it on there square um, push down with uh, quite a lot of pressure at first and turn to get started And then when you've got a, couple, uh, a thread started, turn it back to break the chip. And you can hear the um, chip break when you turn it back. And you need to do that to get a good quality thread. And then just continue to do that. Half turn forward, and then quarter to half turn back to clear the chip out. Also clearing the chip will make the die last longer as well, so you're not getting a big chip build up. Put a bit more paste on. There will be a link in the description to uh, my website where how I made this paste so just have a look in the description and you'll find it. There we go. Just a nice thread there. Right, so there we go, one nice uh, piece of threaded rod, and there's a shop brought nut there. Goes on lovely. I'll show you a bit closer. There you go, you've got a real nice cut thread there. No tear out. Perfect. Always make sure you clean your dies after so they don't go rusty. And then lubricate them with some WD-40 when you put them away. And then they'll last for a long time. Right then, so now we're going to um, tap a hole. And uh, I'm just going to use this piece of um, metal here. I've drilled a hole in it of 5.5mm um, because we're going to be using an M6 tap. Uh, you need a specific drill for every um, tap. You don't tap the same size hole as uh, what the size that you need to tap because if not it's not going to fit. So the holes are just slightly smaller 
to allow uh, the cutting of the threads. So, um, what I will do is, um, if I can, I'll put a link in the description to a table of where it tells you which drill bit you need for which tap. And if not, if I can, I'll try to put one on my website so you'll be able to find it there. Okay, so just uh, the uh, Make sure you use uh, some kind of cutting lubricant if you're using some of this uh, paste. Make sure you're um, more square to the workpiece. If not, you could snap the uh, tap inside the workpiece and just apply a small amount of pressure. And then the same as before with the die, half a turn, quarter of a turn back to break the chip off. This is a piece of um, aluminum or aluminium as we call it in the UK so it's pretty easy to tap and also if you've got a blind hole which is um it doesn't go all the way through make sure you don't hit the bottom because if you hit the bottom you can, you're liable to um, snap the tap in the hole so that's complete So this was the same size as the uh, piece of threaded rod that I've done. So hopefully it should uh, fit. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, I think you can just see the threads in there. So uh, yep, that's how you use a tap and die set anyway. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Any information will be in the description. Thanks very much, bye.